everybody, it's Jenny from the Missouri Star Quilt Company and I've got a fun project for you today. Take a look at this quilt behind me. Isn't this fun? Now this is a half square triangle quilt only. So once you master the half square triangles, you've mastered this. So I have this trunk show and, uh, and it's called a half square triangle trunk show. And half square triangles are one of my favorites because there's so many things you can do with them. And I show how to make a star in, uh, in the trunk show. And then I show this little quilt where I, I made the star and then I, I bordered around it like this. I'm gonna, just gonna put it up here so you can see it better. They wanted a tutorial on it. They wanted to see it. So of course I couldn't do a tutorial on just one star. So I had to do a tutorial on five stars. So there are five stars on here and we're gonna make those first. So to make this quilt, what you're gonna need is one packet of 10 inch squares. And we've used Octopus Garden by Amy Schimler Stafford for Robert Kaufman. And you're gonna need some background fabric as well. And we also used a packet of 10 inch squares, uh, just plain white. You're gonna need this inner border right here this little white inner border that frames our quilt, you're going to need a half a yard for that. This outer border out here is a six inch border and you are going to need a, a yard and a quarter for that. This border in here is your leftover triangles um, that you're making as you go along. You're going to have some left over and of course I can't leave them out. Take a look at this back. Isn't this fun fabric? And uh, it's a, just a cute back and you're going to need five yards for that. So we're going to use the easy eight method for this tutorial. What you're going to need is a ruler and we're going to lay our ruler corner to corner and draw a line on both directions. So we've got a line here and that one didn't go quite to the corner. So I'm going to kind of trace it again right here. So I'm just going to, my fabric just kind of slid over. So you want to just make sure that it goes right into that corner. Now what we're going to do is we are going to lay our fabrics right sides together. So uh, this is my little, look how cute this is, the little turtles. Uh, I'm going to lay them right sides together. And uh, I just had a squirrel moment where I got caught up in the fabric. <laughs> anyway, we're going to sew on both sides of these lines and we're going to go over to the sewing machine. And you just want to set your, to make sure that you're sewing a quarter of an inch on each side of the line. And we're just going to go ahead and sew down here. When we get to the end, we're just going to pivot. We're just going to come around and sew the other direction like this. Trim our thread and then we're going to sew the other way as well. our last side. Okie doke. All right. So now what we're going to do is we are going to go ahead and I'm going to cut this in half both directions. So we're actually going to cut this four times. And you want to look at your ruler because our ruler is five inches. We can lay it right along the edge and we're just going to cut it in half this way. And then we're going to cut it in half this way. So vertically and horizontally. Then we're going to cut it diagonally both directions. So we're going to go corner to corner again. And this time we're going to cut and then we're going to cut this way as well. Corner to corner. All right. So now we have eight half square triangles right there like that. You're going to want to square them to four and a half. They should be pretty close, but we're going to want to square them. So what we're going to do is I'm using the clearly perfect slotted trimmer. Use a ruler that makes sense to your brain. Um, people who square blocks, there's just, there's all kinds of things out there. And this one makes sense to my brain. So I'm going to put my seam line, my stitch line on their stitch line. And then I'm going to cut both sides like this one, two like this and then you can come in these little slots right here and you can cut and that takes off your dog ears and we have a perfectly uh, trimmed four and a half inch triangle just like that so i 
Really love that ruler. So then you press this open and you've got a perfect little half square triangle. Now you're gonna do this to all of yours and make sure they're all four and a half inches. And I have some already cut here. Now we're gonna make five stars. So I wanna show you how to lay out a star. And the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take a look at our star. Now, because I'm so angly challenged, I make that star and then I'm gonna sit it there and I'm gonna make all of mine like that. So the center block is four colors and the whites are to the inside, just like this. So this is our center of our star. Then we're gonna add the legs and the legs are gonna go together so the white comes to the middle. And we're gonna do those on all four sides like this. White to the middle. I have all these little mantras that I say, white to the middle, white to the middle, because it helps me not get lost. Oh, there we go. Because literally I can't actually see the design until I'm like done and then I'm like, oh, there's that star. So uh, white to the middle and white to the middle. And then you're gonna put your corner pieces in. Your corner pieces can be anything you want them to be because that goes into the scrappy outline of the block. So we have, we have these little turtle ones that we just cut and so I'm gonna put four of those in. You do it so the white goes into the center and the color goes out just like this. So once you get your star block all laid out together, I went ahead and sewed mine together, which meant I sewed rows of them together just like this. And you'll go ahead and sew them together and let me show you where they fit. So this is the star block right here and you're gonna have one over on this corner and one over on this corner, one in the center and then one in the two bottom corners as well. Now right in between those star blocks, you can see right here, this is a, a row of chevrons that come up. Now the easiest way to do that is to make a block that fits in there. So we've got this block right here that's gonna fit in there and it's the same, same number of squares. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna turn these and I'm gonna show you how to lay that together. So here is our, here is the middle part and we're gonna now go from, from row to row. So I'm gonna turn this in and this up. This is easiest for me. And you'll have a diagram that you can follow as well that helps you put these blocks together. Now, because I used two colors on my star block, this one is a, is a little bit uh, different because uh, I still have the... So because I used two colors on my star block, I'm still using those same two colors, but you can scrap it up like this. You know, see how this one is all scrappy and all different? So let me go ahead and finish putting this together. All right, so there's our second row. Here's our third row. We're going down, up, down, up, that's good. And then this one, we're going up, and then these two come together. The color comes together like this, and then uh, this one comes up over here. Now I want you to look at this block because this is, you can see the borders. See, and this is like a giant chevron block. It makes the colored borders. You have the white borders in between. And it's actually gonna sit right in here between your two star blocks. And it's gonna, this one is the same as the one on the bottom. They're identical. These side ones are the same block, but it's just reversed. So it starts, how this one starts with the white in the middle, this reverse block is gonna start with the color in the middle. And once you get your rows sewn together, and by rows I mean your star, your block, and your star, there's a sashing strip that's going to go right across the middle here that's going to bring the whole quilt together, and that's this one right here. And so let me show you how this goes in there. And again, we're just dealing with straight half square triangles. It's just how we turn them and how we place them. So here's the sashing strip right here, and this is how it fits in the quilt, and it's just gonna bring the whole thing together. Once you get your center done, you're gonna add a little two and a half inch border, and then you're gonna add this great border here. So this is made still with the half square triangles from the thing, and these are sewn together with all the triangles going the same direction, and this is traditionally called a sawtooth border. So it's an old traditional pattern that we've put with some new fun and of course then you're going to add your outer border out there this makes a quilt that is like 71 by 79 so it's a pretty good size quilt and um, i'm calling it night sky because that is one of my favorite things in the world is that night sky with all those bright stars and we hope you enjoyed this tutorial from the missouri star quilt company